This video is for any outpatient providers who need to do best possible medication history and medication administration. When you are in test, please ensure that you always change your subdivision by clicking on the subdivision button at the footer. You must change the facility to outpatient Ontario Shores Ambulatory. You only need to do this while in train. You will not have to do this when you go live. Once the subdivision has changed, we're going to Web Ambulatory. This will take you to your clinical home screen. And if you have a schedule, you'll see one like mine. To do best possible medication history, let's click on the chart to open the chart. Next, you will go to orders. You will always be prompted with this warning screen if there are no vitals or allergies entered. Click on go to orders to bypass this message. Here you will see your list of home medications. You will need to reconcile by clicking on the reconcile button to confirm your home medications. Once in the reconcile function, if there are home medications that still need to be confirmed, such as this metformin, you will see a confirm button. Clicking on it will allow you to confirm this home medication. If, for example, the metformin has changed in dose and the patient reports that their general practitioner has increased the dose to 1000 milligrams, you can click on the chevron located here and you will be given a stop button. We can click on the stop button to change this medication to 1000 milligrams. Now to add the new medication, you will go to search meds to look for your new medication. Search for your medication in the search bar. Then click enter. We're going to open this up and click on the best string. We're going to queue and exit. If you wanted to add a second medication, you, you would use Q and search for your second medication. Using the chevron, you would choose the, the most appropriate medication string. And Q and exit will allow you to save this choice and exit at the same time. Here are my two medications. The patient is taking two 500 milligram tabs, so we're going to click into here and change the medication details. We can change the dose to 1000 milligrams here. And if the patient only takes this once a day, you can change the frequency here as well. Once you're done, you can click on Q and exit. If at any point in time, any of this medication is added incorrectly, you can use this minus sign to remove the medication. Once you have done all that you need to do with the medication list, click on save. Your home medication list has been updated.